And we're ready to go here with this huge TLC match. stumble a bit. Well, these two guys, we all knew this was going to be an all-out battle. Oh, this is Ouch. nothing, Cole. You don't compete in a TLC match without collecting a few bruises. Ooh! Guys, these superstars really do appear to be in peak physical condition here tonight, which isn't surprising considering what's on the line here in this championship match. Oh! Uh-oh, no, don't do this. What a stomp! Good grief! I gotta agree with you, Michael. These superstars are in tremendous shape. And from what I understand, the champ has been hitting the gym twice daily in preparation for tonight. I heard the same thing, Saxton. Once in the morning, then again at night after the show. Which makes me wonder when the champ actually sleeps. If at all. City earlier today, guys, the only thing anybody was talking about was this title match. Everywhere I went, from the coffee shop to the bookstore, everybody was talking about this match. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. You've got to believe this one's over. Byron, I had a similar experience as you this morning. Nearly every person at the gym I went to was talking about this title match, and rightfully so. This is an absolutely huge match. Here he goes. Ooh, what impact. He's back in control here. Alistair Black is rolling now. Beautiful technique. Tough spot here for the champ. Looks to me like he just hit a wall. This is it, guys. There may be no bigger opening than right now. The only thing left to do is climb the ladder and win this thing. Oh, what impact! Uh-oh, no, don't do this. Byron, you mentioned earlier that the only thing left to do when you're the only superstar in the ring is to quote unquote climb the ladder and win. But I can't help but wonder if the pressure becomes even greater when you have such a huge opening. You mean the yips, Cole? I don't know if I'd go that far. I mean, it's not like these superstars are second basemen in New York. Here we go, everybody's on the outside. This is the exact moment this superstar has been waiting for. Looks to me, guys, like the champ has no plans on losing the title anytime soon. Like Corey was saying, there's no better time to climb the ladder than when you're the only one in the ring. But as we've learned, that doesn't equate to automatic victory. 
especially at this point in the match, Michael. Climbing the ladder is not always the easiest thing, especially after you've had people pounding on you since the opening bell. He's going for it all. This, guys, things are looking good now. The only thing left to do is climb the ladder and leave here the winner. Oh no, there's a table. German suplex! But he's running on fumes here. Does he have enough left in him to capitalize? Irish whip! Your odds of winning absolutely increase when you're the only one in the ring. But just because you're so low doesn't mean you're going to win. Think about it. Climbing the ladder isn't necessarily the easiest thing to do, especially after you've been beat on since the opening bell. Opening bell or not, Saxton, you couldn't climb a step stool to change a light bulb without getting dizzy. Let's be honest here. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Now, dropped. And that was a hard shot, Corey. Yeah, you might want to think about throwing in the towel at this point. I can tell you guys that this arena sold out in record time, and a lot of that has to do with this match. I think we know what this is. Oh, what height. Belly to belly. Vicious. Like you were saying, Michael, when news broke that this title match would take place here, I had dozens of people I know in and around the area calling and texting, just hoping I could get them tickets. That's how big this match is. Isn't that cute? Your friends actually think you have enough pull around here to get them tickets. Poor people. That's how you use the ropes to your advantage. Oh, the knees! Did you hear that? That's Alistair Black setting it up. Harsh impact. This one is over. To Byron's point, there are several competitors on the roster who can make a case for being the next in line for a title opportunity. However, a lot of that, of course, depends on the outcome of this match here tonight. And with that in mind, regardless of their personal feelings, you'd have to think the locker room is rooting for the champion here tonight. The last thing they want to do is have to wait even longer while the champ's rematch clause kicks in. All right, don't blow this. It's not very often you stand alone in the ring with the ladder. Now just climb that bad boy and walk out of here with the win. Back in the ring now. He's up to something. Corey, you make it sound so easy. But if we're being real, it doesn't matter how many people are in the ring. Climbing that ladder is no easy task. And just when you think you're at the top and you're within inches of winning, you can bet one of your opponents will make you think otherwise. What do you think? They're not going to just sit there and let you win. I don't think so. I think I know what's coming next. Black Mass! Just when you thought he had nothing left. X marks the spot on that one. This is definitely where you want to be at this point in a ladder match. But beware, just because you're the only one in the ring doesn't... Oh, Alistair Black haters, start drafting your angry tweets. I love the fact that TLC in the outside world means tender love and care. And the WWE, well, take a look for yourself. That's the kind of match that makes me proud to be here at ringside. Action from the opening bell and a finish people won't soon forget. Here is your winner and the new WWE Universal 